Hi, welcome back to Engineering Made Easy. This is Lalit Vasist. Today we will discuss problems on refractive index, numerical aperture and solid acceptance angle. This problem will involve all these parameters. Question is, for an optical fiber, relative refractive index difference is 1%. Then I want to calculate the numerical aperture if it is also given that the refractive index of the core of the fiber is 1.32 this is the refractive index of the core okay also i want to calculate the solid acceptance angle in air and also the critical angle at the core cladding interface so here i have been given the relative refractive index difference that is one percent and also the refractive index of the core and I want to calculate three things. First is the numerical aperture. Second one is the solid acceptance angle. And third one is the critical angle from this information. So let's start. Here it is given that the relative refractive index difference is 1%. So it is the delta would be 0 0.01. 1 divided by 100. Okay. So it is 0 0.01. And we know that the numerical aperture n a is given by the formula n1 under root of 2 delta here delta is 0 0.01 and n1 is what n1 is the refractive index of the core that we have been given as 1.32 so just put these values in the formula and we will get the numerical aperture here n1 is the refractive index of the core delta is the relative refractive index difference so just put the values of n1 is 1.32 square root 2 into 0 0.01 this is delta and calculate it we will get 0 0.186 as the numerical aperture this is the numerical aperture now i will calculate the solid acceptance angle and we also understand that the for small angles it is given by the formula the solid acceptance angle xi is nearly equals to pi of acceptance angle square okay pi into square of the acceptance angle this theta a is stands for the acceptance angle since this acceptance angle is small this theta is small so we can write it we can replace this by sine theta a since for small angles this theta and sine theta are same so by replacing this theta a by sine theta a i can write this uh, xi as the solid acceptance angle is equals to pi sine square theta a okay S pi into sine square of acceptance angle okay we also know that the numerical aperture is also given by the sine theta a okay so i will write the sine theta a I would replace the sine theta a by the numerical aperture. So I can write it as pi into numerical aperture square. The sine theta is nothing but numerical aperture. So pi into numerical aperture square. So this is solid acceptance angle is nearly equals to pi into numerical aperture square. And this numerical aperture we have already calculated. It is uh, 0 0.186. So we get it as uh, the solid acceptance angle equals to 0 0.108 radians. The third thing that we want to calculate is the critical angle. Since the critical angle is given by theta c, that is the critical angle is equals to sine inverse of n2 by n1. Here n2 and n1 are what? n2 is the refractive index of the cladding and n1 is the refractive index of the core. So I just want the n2 by n1 ratio not the values of these n2 by n1 so if i get the value of this ratio n2 by n1 then i can easily get the value of critical angle so from the given information since we have been given that delta delta is the relative refractive index difference which has been given to be 0 0.01 we have this and it is equals to n1 minus n2 by n1 so from this i can simplify it as uh, n1 by n1 minus n2 by n1 that is 1 minus n2 by n1 from this i can get the value of n2 by n1 ratio that i want to that i need to calculate the critical angle so we will get the n2 by n1 as 0 0.99 and just replace this value of 0 
at this place n2 by n1 so this is the sine inverse of 0.99 is equals to 81.9 degrees so this is all about the numerical aperture critical angle and the solid acceptance angle we calculated all these three values from the given information so if you wanted to get more such problems in uh, my uh, next videos then please uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video you can check it see you soon in the next video till then bye bye